morning debutantes. I've at, been asked to participate in a fall collab. I believe it's going to be over a four week period. And the first one is all about fall home decor. And seeing as I have been on vacation and then planning for a hurricane that thank goodness is gone, I have not had time to get my home decor plan. So I figured we would, um, Maureen wanted to come to Hobby Lobby. So we're hanging out at Hobby Lobby. I thought I would walk around and kind of show you how I would use different things in my home decor. So one of the first things I've come across in the fall section at Hobby Lobby is this cute little, it's like a wooden box. It is $14. Everything is 40% off in fall today at Hobby Lobby. But these just have cute little fall, fall to do's, hayride, go for walks. And what I thought might be cute, if you have small children that know how to write, they have those canvas boards, not really a canvas, but it's, it's a canvas like wrapped on it's like a thin canvas, let's just go with that. They sell it in the canvas department, but you could let your children write with different color markers, all of these different things in their own handwriting, things like their fall to-do list, and then they could write their name and date it on the bottom. And that would be something really cute, would be a keepsake, and also could be part of your fall decor. So right now I am down on the floral aisle of the fall stuff and you find these little picks all of the time. This is a pumpkin with a little pick. Um, they have floral arrangements um, with little picks like this. Now you kind of need to think a little bit outside the box. Let's say you have some landscaping out front and you live in South Florida and you don't get anything fall. You could take some of these and put them into your greenery or anything like that to just give it more of a fall feel. Um, you could also cut these little stems off because these are usually very inexpensive. This one's $1.49, 40% off. So cut this stem off and this could be part of your place setting. You could put this on a plate or anything like that. You could also um, just put a whole bunch of these into, let's turn around a little bit these um, garlands they're just long and skinny you could drape one of these down the center of your dining room table and this one's only 20 but the ones with the pumpkins and whatnot are 60 so why not then pick up a few of these little picks that are inexpensive and then you can actually get what you want throw them in the garland and there is your centerpiece for your Thanksgiving table. I think this may be like the kids crafting aisle or something like that. It's got some scrapbooking stuff and some of these little like tchotchkes in a bag. And what I caught my eye first were these little burlap candles. You could easily hot glue this to let's say like a hair tie, an elastic, or you could glue it to a ribbon and then tie it and these could become napkin rings and the flower obviously being the centerpiece of that napkin ring. Um, let's say for a kid's table, you could easily do it with these cute little owls. Um, you could do something like this on a kid's table and give them some chalks or colored pencils and while they're waiting for the meal or after the meal, they could easily color those in. Um, I do like these leaves as well. You just kind of have to look at things and think how other ways you can use different items. These buttons are super cute. Um, if you had a large family, you could glue these to like some card stock and make name cards. Um, those are really cute. I actually might have to pick those up. How many are in there? So I do like those. Those are super cute. So this is a really cute pumpkin. I actually think I picked up something similar to this at Goodwill, but let's just look at this pumpkin for a second. Now, your kids could go to the pumpkin patch and get a real pumpkin that is similar in size, but you could get scrapbooking stickers and they could decorate it with something that says Harvest Blessings or your last name. And they could also get some stickers in the scrapbook department, um, even some of those 3D ones. And then they're not using a knife, you're not having a candle, and they could have a beautifully decorated pumpkin. Now obviously this isn't your dining room table. I'm in the framing department of Hobby Lobby, but I just wanted to show you some of the things that you could do. These pumpkins you could easily make with burlap. Um, you don't have to use this fancy thing. Get a twig from the, um, your backyard. I have a sweater pumpkin tutorial. I will try to link that will show you at least a good idea how to get started. Then this is just a giant rooster out of the home decor department. I actually happen to collect roosters so this would be something that I would have on hand. Another pumpkin. Then I just have some sprigs of leaves that I have just sprinkled. So this could kind of be your centerpiece. Obviously you would go do a little bit more. And then um, just a plate. This happens to be a dish towel but it has some cute applique so you could use that as a napkin. And I found these cute things that say I am thankful for. So you could put one of those on each plate and um, they could write what they're thankful for. And then if they chose to share that at dinner, that is definitely something they could do. So here's just a quick idea of a few things. Um, I'm sure a lot of you may have some of this laying around your house just from your fall decor of how you could set your table. These great big flowers just caught my eye. It's just one big flower and I could definitely see 
cutting that off right there and setting that in the middle of a plate. I happen to have all white dishes and I think that would add a nice pop of color in my place setting. These I just found in the crafting department where the wood stuff is and they're just like little wooden leaves and then they have some plain ones and I thought you could take a mason jar, wrap it with some burlap and maybe secure some of these leaves on it. Um, either as a centerpiece or just decor. You could put a candle in it. Um, but these are $6.99. I think these are $5.99. I obviously would use a coupon on these, but that's just another idea to use something found that wasn't in the fall section. Hello debutantes. It is now Sunday. I am back home. Um, we are still getting the remnants of Erica. I guess like the rain and the yucky weather so the lighting is not going to be great but i thought i would go ahead and show you my fall decor um as i unloaded it i realized i may have a little too much fall decor so uh, i'm just going to go ahead and show you what i got it's just kind of laid out and then i think the final video of this collab series will be a home tour so then i will show you how i used all of these things in my decor so let me go ahead and turn this camera around and show you what i have so I'm gonna go ahead and start with a lot of the greenery and some of the pumpkins that I have. Um, I just kind of have it on my little hope chest and all over the floor. So I'm gonna start over here. Um, I do have quite a collection of pumpkins for some reason. These are actually plastic. I think I bought this at Hobby Lobby um, last year. These cute cornucopias, I'm sure I purchased at a thrift store or garage sale. These are some of my favorite. Um, it's actually a salt and pepper shaker and these are acorns and then I do have these pumpkins. And I don't use them as salt and pepper shakers. I really just use them in my decor. I tuck them in here and there. Um, I have this that I know I bought at a thrift store. It has a little jack-o'-lantern face. I don't really decorate for Halloween too much. Who knows, that may change later on. So I kind of just turn it that way. So these are actually plastic. I like that they look kind of like ceramic. And these fall candle holders, I think these were from Hallmark at one point. I've had them for years and years. And then here's another plastic pumpkin. And I actually just decorated this with some silk leaves. I thought it needed a little something. Then I have this wreath that I purchased, and as I was taking things out of the attic, I realized that my husband had set something quite heavy on the flower, so this is going to have to be um, fixed a little bit. And I want to put maybe a burlap banner across the wreath that says blessed or thankful, um, so this will probably be getting a makeover. Then this is actually one of my favorite items that I purchased. I paid 49 cents for this. I bought it at Goodwill, and it's actually a cookie tin, and I just like the colors, and I thought it would bring some color to my fall decor, but when you took, take the lid off, it says enjoy inside. So I actually set the lid up in like a plate hanger and use it as part of my decor because it's pretty on both sides. Then I have these leaf sprays, and I will put these somewhere in my house. I like the colors. They look a little bit more realistic. I have loose leaves that I will use throughout just as more color because, you know, in Florida, we don't get all of these fall colors. These are some of those picks that I was talking about. Um, I will put these in a cornucopia that I will show you that is on my table. These are actually long garlands that I, who knows what I'm going to use these for this year, but I have them. Again, I like that they look a little bit more realistic. And then in here, I just have a collection of gourds and pumpkins and things that I can scatter about in some of these garlands and whatnot. So now I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I have on my dining room table. So this is what I have on my dining room table. I have quite a lot of stuff. I tried to kind of lay it out um, so you could see it and that's when I realized I have a lot of stuff. So we can start back here with these big ceramic turkeys. I believe I bought this one at a garage sale. This was actually a different color. It was like a gray beige color and I spray painted it last year. And then this is one of my favorites. I just purchased this at a thrift store and this one was $3. I do not think any of these turkeys were more than probably $4. And I also have this turkey, which is a little planter. Then I have, this is a crystal pumpkin. It has a little lid that comes off. I think I paid 79 cents for that. And last year I put my sugar in here by my coffee stand so it would have a little bit of fall decor. So this year I actually have bought this big acorn like cookie jar. And I'm thinking I may put my loose coffee in there and then maybe use this for my sugar. I'm not 100% sure, but you can see I have lots of pumpkin canisters. 
Then of course I have the obligatory clear pumpkin canisters. I have seen people use this to put their coffee pods or whatnot in there. Right now I just have gourds and little pumpkins and berries and I think they're just in there because that's how I stored them <laughs> after last fall. I recently purchased this cute little soap pump. I think this was in a thrift store haul not too long ago. Then I have these really cute pumpkin plates. This one is a recent purchase. It says give thanks. And then this one is kind of like a bowl. It's a little deeper than just a regular plate. And then I have this plate and they're obviously two different color oranges and two different pumpkins. I have these cute, I think I bought these at a thrift store last year in clearance, maybe at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. This one says give thanks. And this one says count your blessings. And I just like the rustic decor of these. I picked up this jack-o-lantern. I don't know, my travel somewhere. I don't, again, I turn this around so you can see that part. You can put a candle in there, something like that. I bought this cute little jack-o-lantern wooden box not too long ago. It has a handle. Let me see if I can find the handle. There's the cute handle. And I don't know what I'm going to use that for this year. And then I have this flower arrangement that I will replace one of my spring arrangements with. And I bought that at Michael's on clearance. I have this really cute Faith Family and Friends pumpkin. I think Maureen and I were trying to race to, towards us at a, a garage sale and I got to it first, so it became mine. She actually does have one very similar that she stole out from under me at a different garage sale. I have this cute Count Your Blessings pumpkin. I think it is a Jim Shore or a Jim Shore knockoff. I paid 75 cents for that. And then I have these two different cornucopias. This cute little ceramic one and then my big wicker one. And this is the one that I usually use my fall picks in. I put them all in there and put some more pine cones. And it's just a nice large size so it looks pretty. Then I have all of these sweater pumpkins. This was such an easy craft to do that I may have gone a little overboard. I have little ones and bigger ones and all different sizes. I do have a tutorial on how to make these so I will try to link that down below. Then over here, I have these cute wooden pumpkins. This was a craft night at my house. I think that's a two by four, maybe, I think this is, I don't know. They're different sizes of wood. That's a two by six. I think this is a two by four and this must be a one by four. And we just painted them. We drilled holes and put twigs in the top, used a little wire for the stem and that's what the tops look like. So grouped together, they make a cute little display. I purchased this Thanksgiving book at Goodwill and I do stand this up in a plate, you know, one of those plate stands. But what I like, I think I paid $2.49 for this book, but this actually has a turkey on it. So I can use it as is or with the dust jacket that says Thanksgiving on it. So just when you're looking at things, think outside of the box on how you could use books or anything like that in your home decor. Again, I picked up this cute little, I think it was a postcard, I think it was 25 cents. And I just put it in a frame and I'll set that up in my decor somewhere, I just liked it. I actually found these Pottery Barn place card holders in the garbage. <laughs> Someone was throwing them away. I think they were like yard sale leftovers. Um, so if it's free, it's for me. I don't use these necessarily as place card holders. I use them as vase filler or something like that, but they're super pretty. Then I have this banner that I made, I want to say last year. I think total, all of it says happy fall y'all, but it was just too big to lay out. So I think I have a tutorial on how I made this as well. If I find it, I will link that down below as well. Moving back over here, of course, dish towels. I really like the colors of these dish towels. So these will probably hang from my stove handle. Then I picked up these two gourds at a garage sale. I like them because they add a little bit more of a color dimension, not just the orange. There's some green and some yellow. So two of those. And then recently my friend Meb had a garage sale and I purchased this bowl from her. I either purchased it or she gave it to me. I'm not sure. But it's really pretty and I thought it would be nice for a floral arrangement. I mean, I don't know if it's food safe. I didn't read the label, but I'm sure you could put mashed potatoes or something like that in it. 
And then inside, the last thing I have are my Easter egg acorns that I made last year. I do have a tutorial for this and I will try to find it. I basically spray painted plastic Easter eggs. I sprayed them with a primer and then I painted these like a bronzy gold. And then I just glued twine to the top to make it look like an acorn. And I have gold ones and I have cream colored ones. So those were super cute. And again, I use those as vase filler. Obviously the paint chipped from being in the heat on this one. So I'll have to touch that up. So this is just all of the decor that I will be working with for my fall home decor. It is right now August 30th, 31st. So I will probably, within the next week, I will be adding bits and bobs and those types of things. The one thing I did forget was this that I made last year. It says, be a blessing. And it is just a round frame that I bought at Goodwill. I put a piece of textured scrapbook paper behind the glass. And then on the glass, I just use scrapbook stickers. And why I did on top of the glass is because these are actually three dimensional. They're like a corrugated paper and I didn't want them to get squished down by the glass. So that is the final thing I made last year for my fall decor. So guys, I hope you enjoy this ginormous amount of thrifted and handmade fall decor. I will look forward to showing you how I use it all in my home for the fall season. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you have not and please leave comments if you are new to my channel. I love to get feedback and I do try to answer most of my comments. So everyone, I will see all of you in my next video. Bye.